The F-127 frigate is Germany's next generation warship and it's turning heads because of its massive size. At around 10,000 to 12,000 tons and stretching up to 160 meters long, it's more like a destroyer than the smaller frigates of the past. So why is the F-127 so big? Let's find out why. A big job needs a big ship. The F-127, also known as the Next Generation Frigate Air Defense, is being built to replace Germany's older Sachsen-class frigates. These new ships have a huge to-do list. Their main mission is to protect entire naval groups or coastal areas from air attacks including super-fast ballistic missiles and futuristic hypersonic weapons. Think of them as giant umbrellas, shielding ships and land from incoming threats. To handle this, the F-127 needs to carry a lot of advanced gear, which takes up space, lots of it. Unlike older frigates that focused on one or two tasks, the F-127 is a multitasker. It's not just about air defense, it's also designed for fighting other ships, hunting submarines, striking land targets far away, and even operating in the cyber world. All those capabilities need room for weapons, sensors, and crew. Packing in the firepower. One big reason for the F-127 size is its arsenal. The ship is set to carry 64 Mark 41 vertical launch system cells, which are like giant missile vending machines. These cells can fire a variety of missiles, like the SM-2 and SM-6 for air defense, naval strike missiles for attacking ships, and even Tomahawk missiles for hitting land targets. That's double the missile capacity of the older Saxon-class frigates, which only had 32 VLS cells. More missiles mean more protection and punch, but they also need a bigger ship to carry them. On top of that, the F-127 will have a 127 millimeter main gun, laser weapons to zap drones, and close-in defense systems to knock out nearby threats. It's even got space for two helicopters, which are like the ship's eyes and ears in the sky. All this firepower and equipment can't fit on a small vessel, it's like trying to cram a whole toy store into a single backpack. High-tech need space. The F-127 isn't just big because of its weapons. It's also packed with cutting-edge tech. The ship uses the Aegis Combat System, a super-smart command center that tracks and targets threats with incredible precision. To make Aegis work, the F-127 needs powerful radars like the AN Spy-6 or AN Spy-7, which are huge and need a stable platform to function properly. These radars are like the ship's super-powered binoculars spotting missiles and planes from far away. The ship also has to integrate with NATO's defense networks, sharing data with other ships, planes, and ground systems. This means extra computers, communication gear, and sensors, all of which add weight and take up space. Plus, the F-127 design includes a new inverted bow, which helps it cut through rough seas, but adds to its size. It's like building a high-tech Batmobile for the ocean. Everything has to be bigger to fit the gadgets. Room for the future. The German Navy is thinking ahead with the F-127. They want a ship that can grow with new technology. Warships last for decades, so the F-127 is designed with extra space for future upgrades like new missiles, lasers, or even better radars. This future proofing means the ship needs to be bigger now to avoid running out of room later. The F-127 also needs space for fuel, supplies, and crew to stay at sea for over 30 days, covering 4,000 nautical miles. It's built to operate in tough conditions, like stormy Atlantic waters, which requires a sturdy, large hull. The 
design even includes space for two ISO containers, which can hold extra gear for special missions, making the ship super flexible. Why not call it a destroyer? At 10,000 to 12,000 tons, the F-127 is as big as many destroyers like the U.S. Arleigh Burke class, which it's modeled after. So why call it a frigate? In Germany, ship names are based on their role, not just size. Since the F-127's main job is air defense, it's classified as a frigate, even if it's a giant one. It's like calling a massive SUV a family car because it's used to drive the kids around. It's all about the job, not the size. A team effort needs room. The F-127 is designed to work with NATO fleets, keeping up with fast aircraft carriers and joining multinational task forces. To do this, it needs speed, up to 32 knots, and enough crew, around 250, to handle complex missions. A bigger ship can carry more fuel and supplies, letting it stay with the group without needing constant pit stops. So why is the F-127 frigate so big? It's built to handle a huge range of missions, from shooting down missiles to fighting submarines and striking land targets. It needs space for tons of missiles, high-tech radars, and future upgrades. Its size lets it keep up with NATO fleets and stay at sea for weeks. Think of it as a floating, high-tech fortress designed to protect and fight in a dangerous world. The f 127s size isn't just about being big, it's about being ready for anything the future throws at it. 